Bonasera, and good evening everybody! Man with a plan here, checking out a new game for the channel called Imperion Galactic Survival. I've been taking a bit of time browsing the Steam stores and the .io store, or whatever it was called, I forget already because I haven't seen it very much, about the different games that might be around for us to check out on PC, and Imperion Galactic Survival is actually one I've seen a couple of times before, and I've always wanted to play it. It looks really awesome. Alpha 9 has literally just been released, so there's been a huge amount of changes, which I don't know what the differences are from the last time. Any of you guys may have played this before, but I'm really excited to get into it. You can build the most amazing things in this game. It looks absolutely awesome. If you guys are excited about it, want to see some more, make sure to hit a like, drop a comment, let me know what you think about it, and how you're feeling about it. Um, also, disclaimer, this game is incredibly complicated and I have no idea what we're doing. Go. New game. Uh, survival. Build, fight, explore, master the galactic survival in your very own way. Uh, it's gonna be difficult, but we're gonna try. Uh, seed name. Man with, uh, no freaking idea. Perfect. Absolutely great. So let's see, we've got random seed, difficulty settings, medium, planet size, medium, start location, ever near, no idea. We've got a temperate planet, we've got 1.0041141G, that much G, 40 degree temperature, that's pretty nice, no radiation, clear, partially cloudy, mostly cloudy, cloudy, foggy, windy, medium rain, medium rain, heavy rain, store, radiated fog. Fantastic, it sounds like England, only without the irradiated fog. Extra density, lots of informational things, lots of deposits and things. A temperate planet with lakes, vast plains, and mountain ranges. The climate is moderate and has a breathable atmosphere. Starting in an escape pod. Super amazing, I'm really... Meteorites? What? This is amazing! Oh, I'm so interested to get into this. Let's get into it, have a look around in it, and see if we can figure this out. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, this doesn't look good. Oh, 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 we can kind of steer with our WASD keys. Woo, not down, not down, down is bad. Uh, water? Water sounds like a good idea, right? Oh, this is super interesting already. Um, I thought I could kind of look around with my mouse, but instead it actually kind of steers the escape pod. No, 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 not down. No, 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 not down. Oh, I kind of boned it now. Oh, balls, oh, balls. Ow, that was loud. You just crash landed on the planet, but your vitals are stable, Commander. I am Ida, Integrated Datapad Assistant. Your crash was caused by an unknown cause. Was caused by an unknown cause. <laughs> your health and food levels are low, which has triggered the emergency Robinson Protocol. Do you want to follow it? Let's go! And I'm also going to pause the game and change the volumes, because all my balls. Oof, okay, that's a little bit better. Sorry for me shouting, it was actually a lot louder in my headset than it was for the game. Uh, what's this? Press F to enter the escape rod. Press left shift and F and to sleep until the morning. Well, it's already the morning, let's go. What is this? Purified water. Consumable, used with the left mouth bumper from the two ball. Or from inventory with shift right mouth bumper. Alright, amazing. Can I just put it in my pocket? We got more things in our pocket. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, we click and pick up and click to put down. Amazing. What is this? Flashlight. That sounds like a great idea. What is this? Bandages. Uh, a health pack. An energy bar. A survival tool. Antibiotic ointment. Survival tents. And a portable heater slash cooler. We'll warm you up or cool you down if you're close enough to the device. In not. Is that, is that how you spell enough? I feel that's not how you spell enough. <laughs> you can only change temperature up to a maximum limit. Alright, super amazing. So, survival tool, that sounds like something we're gonna need. Let's pop in there. Uh, a flashlight, that sounds like something else I'm gonna want. Let's put him there. Um, a health pack, we're not doing super great on health, let's put that there. And these things, we have absolutely no idea what we're gonna use for. But let's go ahead and put some of them on our inventory bars anyway, because the inventory bar is lonely and doesn't have many friends. Alright, fantastic. Tab? Uh, no, tab is something else. Oh, wait, we had a person. Origin, human, man with a plan. I didn't pick this dude. What is going on here? Oh, my good lord. So, yes, there is a... Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, I pressed a different button. Don't know what it did. Let's just get rid of that. We'll look at it later. Okay, so, this game is very complicated, as far as I can tell. There's a lot of stuff to it. It looks pretty awesome. WASD moves me around. Spacebar make me jump? Does indeed. I got a pretty big jump. Let's go! Super beautiful and amazing. Now, it is a survival game with many surviving aspects, such as very strange phallus-looking plants that seem to have some kind of plague. 
Are you dangerous? I feel like you're gonna slap me. Is this Ark? Not Ark, sorry. You're like No Man's Sky on acid steroids. Crazy things. So we've already checked this thing out. And when we did land, we did get a message saying that there was a thing to do, and I think it told me to press F1. Ooh, here we go. You can find all the necessary information for your mission here. Click on PDA log to read the mission log. Okay, PDA log and file. Open PDA, log files. PDA, that's what we just saw. Log files. Uh, really manually complete this action. Suggestion, please read the actions detail at least. It contains these things. Cancel that then. I, I thought we already did. Open PDA, F1. That's important. Alright, very good. Uh, PDA, ah, PDA log. Wise choice, Commander. First of all, check the PDA. You can find all the necessary information for your mission here. We, we, we already did that. Ah, Robinson Protocol Basic Exploration. PDA and log file. Didn't we just do this? Didn't, didn't we just do this? It said F1. Oh, I had to close it again. And then it... Ooh, we made a tick thing. Oh, amazingly good. Let me introduce you to some of the survival basics. First, we'll open your inventory with tab and check your items. I will do that. Inventory. Haha, we did a thing. We're completing stuff. Notice the condition you are in on the bottom left corner. All right, we got a health, food, stamina, and... What is this? Suit, oxygen, content. Can't quite see it. It's just cut off my screen. Just cut off my screen, which is a bit shame. Uh, armor stats, all right, interior suit, comfort zone, very good. So there's a lot of informational stuff going on here about what is going on. That's my stats, okay. This is what I look like, apparently. Again, I didn't choose to be Asian. I was just born that way. It just turns out to be a thing. Balance, credits, we make money. All right, that's very good. What is all of this craziness, though? What is this? Oh, oh, this is a tech tree. Fuel tank, big fuel tank, bigger fuel tank, O2 tank, O2 station. Used to plan replenishing oxygen, gravity generators, offline protection, land claiming, large generators, elevator blocks. There is lots, guys. Like I'm not even gonna try. Like this doesn't look like that much. But then we got all these, we got all these pages. Capital vessels. We can make the Enterprise if we really want to. Uh, small vessels. There's all of this stuff, then there's hover vessels. Has got a page and miscellaneous things, and then there's tools and weapons. So there is absolutely loads and loads of stuff for us to be checking out. That's definitely a thing. What else is this? All right, fantastic. Oh, okay. Factions. Unfriendly. Okay, whoever the Zyrax are, they don't like me. Talon, kind of like me. Not very much, though. And Polaris, yeah, again. So-so. Kind of halfway. All right, beautiful. Food and heal. <laughs> Food and heal. Consume energy bar. Heal using a health pack. Okay, we can take care of that. Let's go in here. Tab into our inventory like so. Uh, this is the energy bar. Uh, it said shift and left click. Oh no, no, that put it on my inventory. Okay, shift and right click. <laughs> ah, now use the health pack the same way like you did with the energy bar. Alright. <sighs> oh yeah, we liked that. That was nice. That was very nice. We have applied a medical kit. It's going to be nighttime by the time I figure out what the crap I'm doing. Might be a bit of a long episode, guys. <laughs> Bear with me. Oh, oh, with the survival tool in your hand, you can freely start to explore your surroundings. Start by looking around for some rocks. Let's find some rocks. Survival tool. Ooh, it's a gun. Surviving with guns. Freaking great. Just left click. Oh. <laughs> Fantastic. Oh, hello. Salvage. Defense mode. And rock drill. Okay, let, let's go defense mode. Zap zap. This is a rock. I believe that this is indeed a rock. Does my shortcut button work? It does. Fantastic. This is very much rock. It looks very rocky. I'm happy about it. I'm gonna guess we go to rock drill and then we left click. We've done it! We did it! Press F to pick up two copper. Rock. Why is it F? Why isn't it E? Why must you be different, game? I'm not very used to this. Okay, we did it. What now, PDA? Didn't you make the little link? Mine and pick up rocks. Four out of five. We need to do another one. There's another rock over there. There's the water over in that direction. I feel like that's kind of where I want to go. What happens if we jump? Woo! Okay. Alright, fall damage isn't too severe. That's good. Let's head over this way. Are these plants that I can, like, pick up and use somehow? Is there something I could do with that? I guess I shouldn't be running around too much because I don't have a lot of food and I'm probably going to use food faster. Let's go die, rock. Die, 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 die. All right, again, that sounds pretty loud to me, but I'm pretty sure that we're okay. It's not E. It's not E, it's F. 
You can see all the drilled rocks will drop resources on the ground. If you do not pick them up quickly, they will disappear after a while. No! My rocks! My rocks! They're all mine. Pick up some plants. Staying healthy and well-fed is important for survival. You're very right, game. You need to stay healthy and well-fed. I was just looking at plants, but wait, do I need to have nothing in my hands? No? Click, click. Click, click, click. Am I just not looking? Is this... Is this goldenrod? Is this seven days to die? Can I make goldenrod tea? Will it help me if I feel sick? What is this? Ooh, a sausage plant. Ooh, okay. Uh, F? Oh, maybe we could have picked up the other plus. Now you can craft your first energy bar. Open inventory, select the crafter constructor on the upper right corner. Left mouse bump with the energy bar button. All right, here we go. Uh, survival constructor, there it is. The survival constructor can only use items from your inventory, but not from the toolbar. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, energy bar. Do it. We're doing it. We're making something. What is this? We have one of those. It's a survival tool. There's locked things. Water. Portable heat cooler. Portable constructor. Ooh, okay. I feel like that's going to be the next goal that we will be heading towards here. Uh, let me just turn on my timer again for the episode so that I don't end up recording for four hours and not knowing what to do. All right, and then I'm going to guess we put that down here. Oh, amazing. Added the item to the crafting queue. Once crafted, you can take it and put it in your inventory. This is the way you can make supplies. We've done it. I picked up a distress signal earlier. You should go check it out. Commander, please look at your map by pressing M. All right, I'm on it. M key, go. Ooh. Ooh, balls. This is a map and a half. The map offers you the information about this planet, its resources and deposits, points of interest, as well as other important information. Can we click and move it? Or oh, we can click and move it. Oh, super cool. So, yes, if you are wondering, if you don't know anything about Imperion, just like me, uh, we can actually move to other planets as well. Thus, the galactical survival. No build zone. Oh, okay. Right. All uh, right. Okay, so those are territories. So, if we go into those dudes who really didn't like me, which I think are those guys, the red dudes, they're going to kick my butt. Um, that little arrow is me, I guess. There's our broken escape pod. So, we need to be heading in the opposite direction and go and check this out. I feel like that's a good idea. If you've crashed on an alien planet and you don't know where you are or what you're doing in your life and there's a distress beacon, you should probably go check it out because, hey, it might be our ship wreckage that's down there. Um, I'm going to grab all of these sausage plants, these these edible phallus plants that is here. Can I actually pick the goldenrod tea? I cannot pick the goldenrod tea. Fair enough. I was thinking I might have been able to because I picked the sausages without any kind of prompt. Uh, how far? One and a half kilometers on foot? Are you kidding me? Do you know how much I don't walk around game? Do, do you know? I feel like you don't know. And we're gonna have to educate you. Oh, that's, that's, that's a bird. Hey, bird, how's it going, Mr. Bird? Can you be my friend? Will you be my friend, Mr. Bird? Do you like electricity? <laughs> Probably not a good idea just to randomly start killing everything in sight. Or is it, man? Or is it? Okay, so we're gonna follow through the basic beginning all parts here because I need the educations that this may hold. F, F for the sausages. Fantastic. Um, let's go into our constructor thing again. I also see we have a volume and a weight. Now, I think this is new to the Alpha 9 thing from the patch notes I was reading. It looks like that's actually kind of recent. Um, the game is being updated recently. Can I, oh, do I just keep clicking it? Or is there a way to like shift click all? Like, control, click, any way that I can, like, make all of them. That's a lot of energy bars. I think we're good. I, I think we're good on sausages, so let's not worry about picking up any more of those. Um, yeah, the game has been regularly updated. It's been in development for a long, old time. It's been made by a small team of guys, and they have a very ambitious project and a very ambitious final goal, and I really like the look of it. I think it would be absolutely great when it gets a little bit more. In fact, I'm really enjoying it right now. You guys will have to let me know what you think of it in the comment box down below. Do you think we can do anything with our ship here? I mean, I guess I'll leave it, right? I mean, there's no reason not to leave it. Look at this. It's such a nice planet we've gone and crashed on. I mean, it could have been anything. It could have been a total hellhole, but instead we've got this very nice, beautiful, open grass with green land wonderful times. If I press 3, do I eat the energy bar or do I have to left click? Oh no, I have to left click. I love the chewing sound effect as well as he actually eats his energy bar. <laughs> That's super great. Oh hello, what is this? There's a different plant. Can I, can I F you? 
Haha, <laughs> like an F you plant. What, what, what were you? What did you give me? What are you? Herbal leaves. Okay. Consumable, use the left mouse bounder. Uh, oh, dermal burn. Okay, poison, a spite, and indigestion. I thought that said dermal bum. I don't know why, I just thought it did. I was actually just thinking what kind of amazing creatures you would be able to find in these worlds. And oh my god, there's something right there. Uh, defense mode? Feel like that's a good idea? Don't you think? Do you think that thing's friendly? It doesn't look very friendly in the way it's kind of walking around in a kind of mean, stalky way that it could potentially eat my face at any given moment. Let's, yeah, let's, let's keep away from him. He doesn't look like the friendliest of characters. Yeah, yeah, don't think he's friendly. Let's leave him alone. Uh, come past this thing. And Oh, wait. F to pick up natural sweetener. And 100 XP. Oh, yeah, baby. We're going to pick up all the natural sweetener, mostly because of the XP. Because I need XP. XP has got to be a thing. We can really run, man. I mean, ooh. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry. My, my weapon discharged without my expecting it. I hate it when that happens. Oh. Hi. Hi, buddy. How's it going? You guys okay? Yeah, you just you just chill out there. Are those... Are those parasaurs? Those are parasaurs. Those are parasaurs. Why are the parasaurs here? I'm on a freaking alien planet. And why is there dinosaurs? Of all the places... Wait a minute. Is this like... Oh my god, you make a very strange sound. I was just about to say, is this like some kind of Planet of the Apes thing going on? That it's actually... We've traveled back in time by going too close to a black hole or something? Uh... He's strange. Alien insect, level one. Die? Die, die? Oh! Oh! Oh, I'm killing it! Ooh! Rapid fire for the win, we did it! Ten unlock points granted. New devices are available in the tech tree. We've done it! Uh, F? Oh yeah, what did you- Alien parts. Mmm, yummy. Very nice. And alien tooth. For, again, for some reason, I thought it said toothbrush. Don't ask me why. It's just how my brain works after a night shift. Don't understand. Okay, alien parts and toothbrush. Wait, can I salvage your body? Is my other question. If I go to the salvage part, can I, like, get food from you? Can I eat you? Press F to access. Shift and F was take all, is that? Oh, there's a little take all button here, actually, as well, isn't there? Okay, no, apparently I can't eat you. Fair enough. All right, I'm going to make my way over to our little wreckage thing over there, and then I'll bring you guys back, and we'll see what else is happening. There's another alien bug. Defense mode, engage. Ooh. We discovered a new POI, small wreckage. M for the map. There is indeed a small wreckage right there. Oh, I like the look of this place on a little island. Do you think we should check out the small wreckage first? You know what, why wouldn't we? We're here now, it'd save us going all the way back there. Let's do it, it's over here. Oh yeah, look, it's not even that far. So I had a little bit more of a run around, picked some more sausage plants, killed another spider thing, got another bit of XP, more sausage plants there, very nice. And we'll see what else is going around. The parasaurs are roaming. I don't know what that thing is with the spiky tail. I haven't dared get any closer to it because it's much bigger than the spiders. And I feel like it will result in my instant demise. And I'm enjoying my existence on this beautiful sun-filled meadow with the butterflies flapping around and things. Ooh, hello the wreckage. Is there loot? Can I loot you? Run, parasaurs! Fear me! Man has come to the planet. And will begin to destroy everything. And hopefully build things at some point as well. Is what I'm really looking forward to. I can see that the sun's starting to get low. I don't want to be out and around here at night time. I really don't. We've got all the protein bars we could ever need. But we've only got one bottle of water. And I don't know when our hydration starts going down. At the moment, I can only see a food bar, so I'm a bit worried about my hydration. Alright, let's see here. It doesn't look like... Oh, wait. Defense mode. Make sure I'm on the defensive mode. Go to the defensive stance. Hello there. What are you? Do you contain things of interest? Or are you just something broken? Did I just discover another POI? I did! There's another one right there! 
Uh, I guess we could check that out too at some point. I guess. Uh, I don't think I. I don't think there's really anything here. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, yeah, I was just noticing. You see that tiny little square that appears in my recticule? That means there's things here. Oh baby, copper ore, a portable heater cooler, some bandages, herbal leaves. Natural sweetener. Oh, these are all things. That, oh, wait, there's some meat. Oh, yeah, let's go. Uh, where is the take all? Last time there was a little take all button. I know I can just shift and just steal all of it like that, so long as it's not too heavy for me. Okay, fantastic. Sweet. Thank you very much for your little bit of loot, small wreckage. I shall go and visit your brother now. Ooh, hello. This is a different colored stone. Rock drill iron bearing. Die iron bearing. Or did it actually mean like an iron bearing rock? Oh, oh, come back here, you. Come back. Don't you run away from me. There ain't no escape, you're a stone. Another new POI, another small wreckage. How many wreckages are there? Um, oh, hello. Iron deposit. Oh, that's very interesting. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave this one as well, actually, uh, because I'm getting distracted and the sun is going down. I want to go over there. It does look very nice, though. I am running the game at, at max settings. I turned everything up just before I launched it. This is literally the first time me turning it on, so um, I'm kind of interested to see how well it ran, and it's running an absolute dream for me. It really, really is. A beautiful, beautiful game. It... Oh. Oh, the heartbeat. Is that because my stamina ran out? I don't like it. It must have been my stamina. Okay, let's not run that much, or our heart may literally explode out of our chest. So, I was quite curious to see what it looked like, because um, when I had watched the trailers and such, I didn't think it looked that good. But now that I'm actually playing it, it does look very nice. I'm very, very happy about it. Super beautiful stuff. All the sausages for man. We've got quite a bit of XP to play with as well. I'm excited to check it out. But let's head over here. So, we've got that wreckage we're heading to. There's an iron deposit and a silicon deposit over there. Hmm, let us see what- oh, oh, and a copper deposit too. That's fan-freaking-tastic. We've got three different depositories around us. That's great. Um, water. I'm gonna guess I can drown. I'm also gonna guess that I can swim. Well, let's find out which one I do first. Oh, oh, oh! Okay, it's drowned. Drown is definitely the one that I do first. Um, I'm pretty sure I can swim. Is it because I was holding my gun? Is that why I can't swim? Let's try again. Ah, there, yeah, there we go. There we go. Surprisingly, you cannot swim while you're holding a big old rifle in your hands, man. That would make perfect sense. Oh, I super love it. Can we see what's under the water? Like, without, without drowning? Apparently we cannot. It will not allow me to do so. Fair enough. Okay, that was really strange. So, sometimes when I walk in the water, I kind of sink straight to the bottom. Other times I stay on the surface and I swim. I'm not entirely sure which one to switch. Can I shift and... Oh, I can sprint swim too. Let's go. Let's just make sure our stamina doesn't run out or we do drown. The wreckage is in sight as the sun dips below the horizon of the trees. It looks like this wreckage has landed on a teeny little island, which I'm not sure if is really good for me or really bad for me, but I feel like this is where we're going to be making our camp for the first night. Maybe there's not going to be a buttload of nasties if it's kind of on the middle of a little island. I don't know. It, I think it'd do just fine for a first camp, don't you think? Oh, there's that stamina going absolutely insane again. Commander, you are getting close to the signal source. I know, it says right there, I'm 80 meters away. Check those points of interest for interesting stuff. Let's have a look where you can find something of worth. I will. I was just wondering why these two trees seem to have an entire rainforest ambient sound about them. And now it's gone. <laughs> oh, and it's back. <laughs> All right, let's have a look here and see what is going on. I love the little butterflies floating around. I think they're super cool. I want to catch them. A couple of random little stones around. Doesn't that look awesome? I love the little light shaft across the screen as well there. It looks super beautiful. All right, let's have a little bit of a mose around here. Uh, this doesn't look like much of a wreckage. It's, it's not a small wreckage, apparently. 
It's not a small one. Alright, so we're looking for a little square to appear around our recticule. And we will know that we are able to access some kind of inventory of sorts. Doesn't appear to be anything that doesn't look like it's completely worn out, rusted hunk of mess. Unless there's something up there. Oh, 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 there is. I can see the little locker things. That's going to be where people are hiding their secrets. Don't you know? Man's here. You can't hide secrets from me. Let me... Ugh. Oh, there we go. He's done it. Alright, what you got? Ooh, iron ore, silicon ore, copper ore. Mechanical components. Fantastic. Purified water. A corn sprout. A fiber plant sprout. And a pear thing sprout. And a blue pepper sprout. And some plant fibers. Freaking great. Little sproutlings and things in there. Oh, we're going to be able to do farming. You found valuable resources, Commander, and earned some XP. I like XP. Uh, we didn't find anything in that box, though, which is quite disconcerting. Oh, wait. Are these the same box, I wonder? Ah, oh, they are. They're all one solid part. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Uh, open the tech tree, that said, and then I missed what it said. So let's go back into F1. Uh, oh, here we are. Unlock and craft the portable constructor. Unlock portable constructor. Craft portable constructor. In the world of our technology trees. Uh, player's level is level 2. And let's see here. Uh, base, I guess it would be. Small generator. Uh, where are you? Large constructor. That's not what we want. It said portable constructor. Is it in my person? Portable constructor. Here it is. Unlock in tech tree. Uh, okay. Oh, here it is. Water. Portable constructor. Level 5? What? Oh, no, sorry. L cost is 5. Unlock level is 3. Okay. Uh, I have 10 points available. I'm just not a high enough level to do so. Does it tell me my XP level points around here somewhere? Do I know how much more I need to get? Hmm, I'm not entirely sure. Uh, let's make some of these. I thought we made like 20 of these things, but apparently not. Let's make a buttload more. Uh, hello? There we go. Had to tab out and tab back in. There we go, yes. Alright, that's all of them that we can make. Oh, I see we can queue them up if we don't have the resources. Right, if I click here, ah, they go back down. Let's wait till that turns a friendly colour again. Uh, okay. Looks like I could actually only make one. Uh, water condenser. Extract oxygen and water from the atmosphere to generate small oxygen and water bottles. Uh, okay, that sounds like a good idea. What is this? Emergency O2. Also super amazing. Um, you know what? It's getting very dark. I'm a little bit worried about being out here in the middle of the night. Um, thankfully there's a slightly raised plateau here, so let's have a look at 8. And see... Oh, there we go! Yeah, we got a little tent dude. Oh, can I not place him up here? Is he too huge? He does look pretty huge. Um, okay, let's pop this guy down by this piece of wreckage. And, yeah, just, just down by the beach here, I think. Somewhere like that would be great. Any, like, moderately flat area. There you go. Yeah, something like that. Click, and we've done it. Can I then come into here and sleep? Left shift and F to pick up. Wait, what was that? Give me that tip again. F to sleep until morning. Let's go. Um, no. um, good morning, everybody. That's a little bit better. A little bit of daylight. The thousand and one birds are cawing in the distance somewhere as the butterflies flap their wings before disappearing out of rendered distance. Super beautiful. Let's have a look again at our inventory parts here and find out what we need for this. So we need to turn to level three. Here's my stats right there. Oh, we're so close. Oh, we're so, so close. That's, that's, that's going to be killing one sorry, unsuspecting creature, isn't it? That's what it's going to be. Like, literally, I kill one of those butterflies and I would level up. Can I kill one of those butterflies and level up? Is, is that actually a potential? Oh. Oh, they disappear as soon as I mouse over them. How very sad. That's terrible. I'm not allowed to kill them. Um, I came all the way out here. And, um... To this wreckage, yeah. And there's nothing alive out here. Like, at all. Okay, I'm gonna have to swim over there. Go over that way, because there's a teeny little gap there. I just traveled all the way across that water. I'm not gonna be leaving this here. And having to come all the way back for it. I think let's head... 
I mean, iron, copper, silicon. This is all really nice to have in one spot. Maybe we'll head like here. Or like on this shoreline or by this lake or somewhere where we're close to these things. Maybe that'll be a better spot so I don't have to keep crossing all this flaming water all the time. Oh, here it is. I had to travel and swim so far just to come up here and F you. 100 XP. Is that enough to level me up? I feel like it really should have been. Are those like some kind of bones or something over there? Or is that another weird old plant or another weird old creature actually? I mean, it really could be. Let's get our gun back ready and make sure it's in defense mode. Let's see here. Are you something that's alive and is going to eat me? Or are you just bone? Nope. Nope. Just bones. Okay, good. What happens if I salvage you? Can I salvage you? Apparently not. Can I rock drill you? Apparently not. Can I defense you? Cannot damage your target with this weapon. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's try grabbing this guy. We gotta be, we gotta be at the level now, right? Surely. Oh yeah, we did it. We're at level three. The game just didn't want to tell me. Okay, so back to our technology tree. Uh, that was it. It was under miscellaneous for some reason. Portable constructor. Yes, go. Aha! Double click does it. As you can see. You have some items already unlocked. On the next level, you can unlock more and craft more advanced items. Fantastic! Available unlock points is 20. Uh, okay. I have absolutely no idea what we want to be looking at, but let's take a look at our base things. Fuel tank, O2 station, generator, alright. Plant, grow light, that sounds good. Cargo box, that sounds like a very good idea. This box represents a group of blocks. Add to by a little photo. Okay. Very complicated type of block. Food processor also sounds like a very good idea. Alright, we're not going to worry too much about that stuff quite yet. What I want to do first off is find a place to build this thing and find a spot to call ourselves a little bit of a base camp. Let's have a look here. Now, I'm liking that these three resources are nearby, but this water in between is a bit of a pain in the balls. Um... Like a little rocky kind of region here. Don't really know anywhere in particular that's good to set up. So you know what, for the time being, I'm actually going to go and put myself on that little ledge. And I got a little land bridge here. And I can I can hassle moving around. Oh, what's that? Yeah, we'll, we'll have a look about. I'll find a nice spot. Oh, hello. What are you? Alien thorn. Why wouldn't I? One alien thorn. Okay. A thorny alien. So I think just nearby these trees just past here actually I think there's a little bit more of a flat terrain there's like a torn up bit of desert right here that's quite nice I like somewhere nearby the water shade from the trees you know it all be very good for us but really I'd like to at least kind of make a spot uh, to kind of put a bit of a base camp down I feel like that's a super important thing oh yeah it's quite flat around here actually as well and um, we're not too far away from those deposits that are over that way again I don't know what to do with them yet but I'm sure we will be able to figure it out. Actually, there's a foresty kind of area over there too. And this area is kind of flat. Let me just have a look what's over this little ridge. It's even flatter and nicer down here by these trees. Plant protein. Go. Fantastic. Yeah, that looks pretty nice. Beachfront property. Yeah, very good indeed. We got a little lake on the go here. A couple of trees around. Just find it. I think just over here would be a nice little flat spot though. Okay, yeah, well, you know what? I want to be here, right where this tree is. Uh, if I take down this tree and that little dead broken tree, i got a kind of flat area here that would be absolutely great, so I guess rock drill isn't going to work. How about salvage? No. Rock drill? No. Destroy? Oh, oh. I didn't know we could hold down the destroy click. I've been firing it like this. That definitely sounds like it's doing something. Oh, it just evaporated. Did, did I get wood? Did doing that, it did indeed give me three wood locks. Fantastic. Are you going to do the same? Yep. Just vanished into the ether and gave me a whole one wooden log. All right, fantastic stuff. Super excellent. Now, let's see here. Ah, what do I need to craft that thing? I forgot about that. Uh, portable constructor. It requires three iron ore, two silica ore, and one copper ore. Thankfully, I already have that stuff in my pockets. 
Excellent. Let's also uh, eat that, I feel. Shift left click. No shift right click. There we go. We'll eat that guy right up. Food is actually going to be a bit of a concern, so let's try and get some more of that, I suppose. Yeah, the inventory kind of freezes out now, so i got to kind of tab back out and come back, and there we go. Now it'll tell me what I need. Two plant proteins, and I have ten of them. So I can have one, two, three, four, five. Right? Makes perfect sense. Alright, super excellent. While that guy makes himself up, let's find a little spot to put down our tent. I feel like next to these bushes would be a good idea to put our tent by. Uh, let's see here. Is blue good? Does blue mean that you're a thing? Blue does indeed mean you're a thing. Oh wait, can I use you? Can I like pick you back up? And use you to clear the grass out of this area? So that I don't have to freaking build my house with grass around. I feel like that's a bad idea because you've already made a hole in the floor now. Uh, how do we rotate you? Mouse wheel? No. Right. Oh, oh, oh. Survival tent. Survival. Desert camo. Woodland camo. I can change its skin pattern. Woo, congratulations. You've successfully completed the Robinson Post Recall Basic Survival. We have done it. That's literally as far as it goes. You've earned a milestone. Uh, great. Excellent, I suppose. Now what? <laughs> okay, I'm guessing we're gonna have to place that amazing thing. Let's go ahead and put him on our 8 key. Why wouldn't we? Uh, he's making food for us, which is also good. Let's shift and right click that. Nom nom nom. Very nice indeed. Uh, 8. And let's just put him down next to this thing, I guess. Blink. Amazing! What are you and what did you do? You look like something out of Star Trek. You really do. Let's F it. Ooh, okay, so we got silicon ingots, iron ingot, copper ingot, very good. Promethium pellets. Intermediate product uses a component for processing into a more complex product. Okay, templates for exact use. Electronics, optical fibers, motors, motorbike construction kit. Oh my god, I can make a little freaking motorbike? Oh, that has to be a thing. Um, biofuel, that's made out of just plant fiber, that's nice. Wow, there is so much stuff. A little fuel pack. That's ah, that's the Prometherium. Prometherium. Okay, kind of components and such. So can I put all of this stuff? Ah, oh, there you go. I can at least use you as a bit of storage. Very nice. I'll keep my water though. Thank you very much. Can I move stuff around in here? I can indeed. Excellent. Uh, if I use this. I don't seem to have a hydration bar, so I don't really know what the purpose of water is right now. Oh, right, super sweet. I would love to get to looking at what we need to do to build, like, a little... Like, a little base place, I guess, would be the next thing for me to be looking at here. Um, steel plate. Intermediate product user component for processing and more complex products. So it's a bit building block. Wooden planks, also building block. Iron ingots. Biofuel. All of these things are essentially base ingredients. Let's go into here and into our things and in our base part here. Let's see what we've got here. There must be like buildable blocks of something or some kind to do stuff with because I am not entirely sure what else to do. Clone chamber, fridges, automatic doors. This all feels far too advanced for what I'm looking for when I'm literally looking for um, walls. Ah right, these ones are indeed completed. We have done all of these ones. Ah, super excellent. That's taken care of. Super awesome. You have crash landed on a planet, but your vitals are stable. Alright, excellent. Okay, so we got that one. Basic building. Here we go. Right. I see, so we can actually activate all of these different parts to find out what we've got to do with it and how we do it. Super great. I'm going to leave this one here though because we've already gone around about 35, 40 minutes on this one. But we did the very beginning steps of the game. We didn't die, which is a fantastic start for us. We managed to get ourselves a little tent place, a little constructor thing set up and ready to go. And um, I think I'll run the tutorials out of order and the next thing I'll take a look at is how to do the basic building so we can actually get a little bit of a kind of setup here. 
and then we'll kind of find out what we've got to do in the next one. I'm going to call it here, though, guys. Thanks very much for joining me in the amazing world of Imperion Galactic Survival. If you guys have enjoyed it and you want to see more, do me a huge favor. Hit some like buttons. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about it. Let me know that you want to see some more. I'll quite happily make some more of it. I think I'll do a couple more just to see how it kind of goes. Um, really have been very excited to play this game for quite some time, so I feel like it's going to be an amazing thing. There are some incredible things that we can build in this game. we will just got to figure out how to do it. It's the most difficult part. But I'll get my head around it, guys. Don't you worry about that. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Thanks again for joining, everybody. Until the next time, take care, all the best. And I can't wait to see you all again soon.